This is Coach Lee with my expatcoach.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about the power of time and answer the question of if time will make your ex forget about you. And please take a second to subscribe to my channel with the button below so that you can be notified when I have more content like this that can be helpful to your situation and to relationships and attraction in general. So I have another video that's called, Will No Contact Make My Ex Forget About Me? And in that video, what I explain is, is that one of the reasons that your ex broke up with you is because they don't see the same place in their life for you that they used to. And so in a way, they have forgotten about you and no contact actually can have the power to help them remember you, which is a pretty deep point and very encouraging if you're in the situation of being in no contact right now after having been dumped. Now, one of the things about time is that by nature, as humans, we are impatient. We want what we want when we want it. And in our world of the free market, where we can get things as quickly as we want them if we pay for it, and when modern technology is making things move faster and faster and faster, we have lost the ability to have patience in many ways. And there's certainly nothing wrong with modern technology, and we can learn when to be patient in life and when not to be, because sometimes patience is not required. And I think that wanting things quickly can be a powerful thing. But at other times, we need to learn the value of patience. And I know that that's frustrating with the situation that you're in because you want your ex back. But I want to just tell you a few things about time and how time can be on your side if you are currently in a situation where you've been broken up with and you're in no contact. Right after a breakup, your ex actually experiences relief, generally speaking, most of the time. And that is in sharp contrast to what you are experiencing, which is usually profound loss, sorrow, heartbreak, panic, frustration, desperation, and even depression. And so it's easy to think that your ex has become cold, that they've just flicked a switch and feel nothing for you, and that no contact is not working because it's been three days and your ex has done nothing. And so therefore, it was easy for your ex and they did not mind the three days because they don't care anything about you anymore. It's easy for our minds to go there. But the reality is, is that most of the time in those first few days after a breakup, it is much easier for your ex. That is certainly usually the situation. And that reason is because usually the breakup did not happen where they just woke up one day and decided they were going to break up with you. Usually it took a lot of time to where it started off as just this irritation inside of them to where they thought that the relationship was not as strong as they thought it was, that maybe they didn't have the future with you that they thought they had. And so they began to entertain the idea that your relationship was not permanent and that there was no future. So it began to build in their minds and in their hearts. And that became like a self-fulfilling prophecy and the things that you said that would turn them off or make them feel like you weren't emotionally as connected and in tune as they thought the two of you were. Things like that begin to have more of an effect on them and they begin to see it as confirmation that the breakup needed to happen. And so it was reassuring them that they were considering the right thing that was the breakup. And they weren't 100% at this point, but it was definitely moving quickly in their minds. They were beginning to see that the relationship was on borrowed time. And so everything that was a negative in their mind or was not a positive from you where they wanted more from you or expected more, they would see as further evidence the breakup should happen. And so they began to prepare themselves, thinking of ways to do it, of excuses to give you, like, I need to work on myself, or it's not you, it's me, further cliches that people even joke about to some degree now. They'll say, I feel that we're moving in different directions or I'm not ready to be in a relationship, those kinds of things. They want to make the breakup as easy on themselves and on you as possible because they don't want the awkwardness. And many times they will stay in the relationship long beyond what they wanted to simply because they don't want the awkwardness of a breakup. They don't want to hurt you and because they're not 100% convinced that they want the breakup. Even if they see all kinds of signs reassuring them that the breakup is the right thing to do, it's rare that someone is 100% committed to the breakup. Oftentimes, as I've said in other videos, 
it's like they're 55 percent sure but being 55 percent sure which is a slim majority over time can still work on them it can still cause them to force themselves to go through with the breakup because over time that 55 percent is powerful that five percent beyond neutral beyond being somewhat happy is still enough to get them to break up with you if it lasts long enough and so they've built all this up over time and they have finally been able to make themselves go through with it to have the talk with you or the text if they're just completely unwilling to face the awkwardness and they just want to make it easy on themselves without even thinking much about your feelings in the situation and they send you a text they finally get themselves to go through with it and that usually brings them great relief the first few days after a breakup even if they weren't 100 percent sure they wanted the breakup makes them feel stronger it makes them feel peace they enjoy that moment they enjoy being away from that awkwardness that they got it over with and so many times an ex can even feel happy about it not even happy about the breakup not even happy about being without you but simply happy that they got it over with because once they become convinced that they need to break up with you they begin to dread doing it and their focus goes on that in a lot of ways and so sometimes if the relationship begins to go well it begins to improve they don't even notice because they're so focused on breaking up with you and getting that over with and so the first little bit of time after the breakup they're on kind of cloud nine they feel strong because they're the one who rejected you and especially if you didn't want the breakup they feel desirable like you want them and they were the ones who chose to leave you which is a powerful position it makes them feel attractive desirable that kind of thing and on top of that it's over with they feel like that that awkward moment is over with and they can finally just enjoy post breakup and so a little bit of time is simply that where they don't even really consider that they miss you or that maybe they didn't want the breakup because they're simply relieved that that moment is over that they had been planning for that's when reality begins to set in and so those first few days of no contact after they have broken up with you or after you have stopped begging or pleading when you finally begin to try something new or don't know what to do and so you go in no contact naturally or you find one of my videos and you say i've got to go into no contact you're miserable you're in the depths of sorrow you're depressed you're down you're sad to say the least and so you are a sharp contrast to your ex who's relieved but usually usually the tables begin to turn your ex begins to move past the relief of the breakup they begin to move past relief of the idea that they simply went through with it and they begin to realize what they actually did if you allow them if you allow them to experience the consequences of the breakup and the sooner you start no contact the sooner you stop reaching out to them and you stop begging and pleading the sooner they begin to experience reality and to really focus on what they have done and if you had a great relationship it is difficult on them and so the tables turn as you begin to develop some strength because you've been able to make yourself stay away from them and i know that's difficult and some of you are thinking i don't have any strength but you know if you've been able to make it a few days if you've been able to just have the attitude of one more day at a time you are stronger than you were and that's a more attractive position to be in and you should feel good about yourself you should take courage take heart from that and as the tables begin to turn it will become more difficult on your ex as they begin to get out of the euphoria of simply getting the awkwardness over with and they begin to miss you to experience separation anxiety from you to be curious about why you're not reaching out because the very reason that it was easy on them right after the breakup and that they got it over with and they're feeling powerful and strong and attractive they now begin to wonder if they are really that attractive because you're not reaching out to them and so some of that cloud nine effect begins to drop to cloud eight or cloud seven as they begin to ask themselves well why isn't she reaching out or why isn't he reaching out do they not want me as badly as i thought they did and of course the relief of the breakup goes away fairly quickly simply because it's not that big a deal you got it over with that doesn't take long and they begin to experience the breakup to be curious about you to wonder what you're doing to see you as stronger than they thought you were and they begin to miss you usually and it can take some time before they miss you enough to reach out to you 
Sometimes it's quickly. Sometimes it's three or four days. Sometimes it's two weeks. But some other times it may take a month, a month and a half, two, three, and longer than that for them to miss you enough to just feel they have to reach out to you and for them to lose the ability to expect you to reach out to them. And so as these tables have turned and it's becoming more difficult on your ex, that's where time actually becomes on your side to where they have not forgotten about you. No, they have actually remembered you even more. And each day that passes, they miss you more. They remember you more. They become more curious. Because if you were in a relationship with them that was any decent amount of time, and I usually say if it's three months or more that that's a decent amount of time, then they can't just flick a switch and get over you. It may seem that way at the beginning, right after the breakup, and I've already discussed why that is, but the tables soon turn to where they are missing you, hurting for the relationship, even if they aren't 100% convinced that they want it back or that they miss you enough to reach out, but they do begin missing you and wanting you back, at least to some degree. Now that's where it's tricky, and that's where sometimes I say after enough time has passed that maybe you could reach out and they're more receptive because you've been in this long period of no contact. Other times you just have to wait them out because some people do not want to reach out after they've been dumped. And I usually will support that because usually waiting is the right thing to do, usually not contacting them. But sometimes you lose nothing by reaching out. That's not the point of this particular video. In this particular video, what I'm wanting you to learn is that time will not make your ex forget about you. That they will actually never forget about you. And if you think back on the relationships you've had, you still remember these people. And so in the near term, in the short term, they're not going to just forget about you like they have amnesia or something. And usually after that initial euphoria of the breakup has passed, they begin to hurt. They begin initially with curiosity and it leads to missing you, to fear, that you have moved on or that you might move on or that they have really blown it with you and that you won't take them back or that you're moving on to somebody else. And then they miss you to varying levels depending on the potential of the relationship and what the relationship was like. So if you think that a little bit of time is gonna make your ex forget about you, I want you to know that you're wrong and I hope you take courage from that. The time is on your side and that the first few days after the breakup are not real in terms of what your ex feels. They're usually experiencing an artificial euphoria from simply getting it over with. And after a few days, they begin to really feel the consequences of what they've done. And that's when things can work in your favor. To schedule a coaching call with me, visit myexbackcoach.com. That's myexbackcoach.com. And if this video was helpful to you, please click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified when I have more videos like this, including videos on relationships and attraction in general. This has been Coach Lee with myexbackcoach.com. Thank you for watching.